out is the stud ollie bag so i have it right here um as you already know i absolutely love stud um i talked about it i think in my first live stream when i discussed bags um i talked about their luna bag it's got a luna bag let me just double check really quick it's in my collection like i said but yeah it's the luna bag um so that one has a more summery feel to it but um, I did style it as like a fall outfit in my, I already styled it and I posted it on my Vera Shop profile. So you just scroll down a little, a little bit, you'll see that I already styled that bag. But I chose this one. I feel like I wanted like something a little smaller. Um, I feel like shoulder bags with mini bags work best for my style. I just, I just gravitate towards bags like this. Sorry, like the light's coming through um, the windows and just move over really quick. But um, so I got this bag, this one. So I know the Luna bag is made of vegan leather and I know some of you are into sustainable or like um, cruelty free um, fashion, but I just want to warn you that this is not vegan. This one's made of 100% cow leather and it has like th that cross embossed um, kind of pattern, which I really, really love. This color is called, let me just double check the color. I don't want to get this wrong. Um, sorry guys, one second. Okay, um, okay, I don't know the color of this. Sorry, guys, it's like this, oh, sorry. It's a saddle faux croc. It's like not a color, but like it's like this warmer brown to it. And I think we also have it listed, another one, it's the golden, it's a wallflower faux croc. That one has like a yellow tone to it. That one's more golden yellow, a little on the darker side. I feel like it's still a great piece for um, transitioning to fall. But I wanted something that's more muted. As you can tell, I'm a very like neutral person. I don't really wear a lot of color. And if I do, it's usually muted pastels or something like that. So I really wanted something that um, I would wear in the fall. I usually wear shades of brown. And this is like the perfect piece for my closet because I don't have a bag of this shade and this color. So I was really excited about it. So um, yeah, perfect piece for transitioning. And I feel like it's still good for summer because I think neutrals in general work really well season like all year round, which is why my series is called Times Classics because a lot of these pieces that I'm wearing usually work well for every season in the book. So yeah, it's a shoulder bag to try on right now. And I think it works well for this outfit as well. Like even though I'm wearing mostly gold jewelry, um, I really appreciate like the hardware here. It's like double, double metal. There's like the gold piece and there's like the silver piece here. So I feel like you have more like versat versatility, versatility and like wearing your jewelry and like um, playing around with the tones of your outfit. I know like for some bags, like you have to wear more like warmer tones or more cooler tones just so you don't clash with the color. But I really appreciate how it's like double met metal um, toned. Um, this kind of reminds me of like the Christian Dior um, saddle bag where they have the CD, but I really like how this one's like made with shapes. I love like the irregular circular shapes. Um, I think it's super cute. I really appreciate that kind of detail. But the rest of the hardware, so the other hardware is just a zipper. This one's like a gold zipper, but you can't really see it since it's kind of, kind of hidden in like the nook of um, the top of the bag. So you can tell it's a very structured bag, which I absolutely love. And like the leather is pretty, pretty sturdy because I know like with a lot of bags, sometimes the, the uh, strap isn't as strong. So I really appreciate how this one's really sturdy. The bag has its shape. But I feel like it's pretty roomy. You can tell like there's a lot of room in the bag, it's not like a really flat bag. So I really like how there's like that structured bottom. So that way you actually have room in the bag. So you can see here, I already used it. So there's like kind of like dust and whatever in here, but you can't really tell. But I like how it's like suede on the inside. So I think that's so luxe. I really appreciate that. It's more of like a darker tone inside and like the logo's inside and you have another zipper. We well, have a card holder here. I didn't even notice that. There's a card holder here. So you put your car through so it's like for good easy access um and there's like a zipper in here if you have like smaller things or you want to keep some things hidden um it's pretty roomy for like a shoulder bag um i have a couple other shoulder bags like i have a friday re-edition one um that one's pretty roomy as well but i like how this one's a little wider and it has like a shorter shoulder strap i think the prime one goes down a little bit but this one is like the perfect height so I'm like 5'2", so it's like perfect for me. I have a, like a bit of a longer torso. You can't really tell since I'm wearing like a crop top, but like um, you can tell it's such a perfect height for it. You can kind of see like how it works nicely um, with like my outfit. But I feel like 
like the color since it's so it's like much warmer than like most browns it really like works well with like all black outfits and like new neutrals just so that way you can have like a pop of color here um it kind of like brings out draws attention to the bag especially with the crocodile pattern and the color already um i did style it already so if you head to like my very short profile or if you're from instagram i already posted it um i wore it with my sleeveless um luna i think it's called the sleeveless luna dress um that one's like a t-shirt dress, but obviously sleeveless. And I paired it with like my Zara um, mule heels. Um, and then just have this bag. So it's a super simple neutral look, but I really want all the attention on this bag just because um, I really like how loud it is in its own way with like the two-tone metals, the texture and the color. It's very unique. Um, oh, I also want to mention that they do have a black and white one on this on Stodd's um, website. But they don't sell in a bear shop. Um, I prefer like I prefer these colors anyway, just because like like I said, like I want to play around with more neutrals, like different kinds of shades of neutrals for the for the um the transitional weather for summer and for fall. Just because I feel like I want to play around more with it, just because I'm not very I want to step out of my comfort zone and not just wear like a black or white bag. But I also have a, a lot of black or white bags already, so I feel like this works best. But I'm gonna definitely be um signing this a lot more. So super cute again like i said it's not vegan like let me show you guys the luna bag that i was talking about earlier not early but like a few live streams ago this was a bag that i talked about first <coughs> on this one it's obviously a lot bigger like you can definitely tell like they're both shoulder bags but you can kind of see like how ginormous this is compared to um the ollie bag i think it's like twice the size honestly I absolutely love it. But um, yeah, this one, I feel like has a more summery feel to it just because of like the vegan leather netting, like the detail on the outside. It has its linen um, fabric on the inside. So I love how like, there's like a lot of neutrals going on in here. But yeah, this one's a more summery bag because I feel like it kind of plays along with like like the um, the grocery like market tote. Um, but I like how they add like a timeless setting to this where you can kind of transition to other um, seasons. Um, I already styled it, like I said, like a couple couple weeks ago. It was like 60 degrees in July, and like I needed like to wear like a trench. Je these are actually the same jeans I was wearing in that picture, if you guys are interested in it. I don't think they sell it anymore, but these are the same pants. And I wore with like um, beige um, boots. Uh, yeah, boots. And it kind of matches this bag. I really like it when I match like my shoes with my bag. Just feels more fit together. But yeah, this one's like pretty ginormous and it's really roomy. Like this one has like a double, double zipper. I feel like Stodd really appreciates like all the details in their bags. Cause like there's just so much like details that like, I kind of miss. Like I didn't know there was a card holder in this one and there's like another zipper inside. So I really love that. But this one just has a zipper inside and it's like ginormous. It's so roomy in here. This one's also structured. You can't really tell, but like it definitely holds its shape. So I feel like Stodd's pretty well known for that. Like even though some of their bags are more slouchy than others, um, they can definitely hold their shape. So that's why we really love it. So this one is cow leather with like the embossed crop detail on this one, just like the, le the vegan um, leather netting. So again, this is vegan. This one's not. Um, okay, so with the 50% off, it's like closer to 200 than 250. So it's like 212. So that is such a steal. And then I want to move on to the Frida Tote. So let me just present this to you guys. Okay, I think it's presented. Okay, 